Good day everyone! Today, let's talk about classifying as a basic science process skill. Learning competency. Classify objects and events according to observable characteristics. First objectives. Describe classification as a basic process skill. Identify and differentiate the stages of classification. Classify objects based on their properties or characteristics. Let us unlock first classifying. Classifying is grouping or ordering objects or events into categories based on properties or criteria. There are three stages of classification. One, we have single stage classification, two, multi stage classification, and three, serial ordering. Let's talk first about single stage classification. It involves separating a set of objects into two or more subsets based on at least one observable property. Binary classification, a part of single-stage classification, is sorting the objects into two groups. What property do these animals have in common? All these animals have backbone. Hence, these animals are vertebrates. Now, how can we group these vertebrates into two groups? They can be grouped based on their capability to regulate their body's temperature in their surroundings. So we can group the vertebrates as warm-blooded or cold-blooded animals. Warm-blooded animals are animals that are capable of maintaining a nearly constant body temperature irrespective of the temperature of the environment. While cold-blooded animals are the animals that are not capable of regulating their body's temperature according to the temperature of the environment. Warm-blooded vertebrate animals include the dog, cat, ostrich, and eagle. We label this as A. On the other hand, cold-blooded animals include the frog, snake, milkfish, or bamboos, tilapia, turtle, crocodile, and salamanders. We label this as B. Once you are done sorting our animals, prepare a table like this, where you will tabulate your observations. In the first column, we write the sets or groupings of our animals A and B. In the next columns, we write the properties we want to observe like body covering and method of movement. These are just examples. You may write in these columns the properties that you like to observe. Another way of sorting objects is through a multi-stage classification, where sets are sorted into subsets, then each of these subsets is sorted again and again. Going back to our examples of warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals, let us sort set A first. How can we sort these warm-blooded animals? We can sort them into mammals and birds. Dog and cat are classified as mammals. We label this set as A1, while ostrich and eagle are classified as birds. We label this set as A2. This means that A2 and A1 are subsets of set A. Let's sort set B this time. How can we sort the cold-blooded animals? We can sort them as amphibians, fish, and reptiles. Turtle and frog are amphibians. We label this set as B1. Milkfish and tilapia are fishes. We label this set as B2. Crocodile, snake, and salamander are reptiles. We label this set as B3. This means that B1, B2, and B3 are subsets of set B. Once you are done sorting the animals, you can construct now a table like this. In the first column, the different subsets like A1, A2, B1, B2, and B3 are written. In the second and third column are the properties we want to observe like their body covering and method of movement. You can add other properties like reproduction, nutrition, and many more. Another way of sorting objects is through serial ordering. In this stage, objects are sorted in order by the extent to which they have certain property. For instance, let us sort these vertebrates in terms of serial ordering. 
How can we do it? We can do it by arranging the animals from lightest to heaviest like this. Or from heaviest to lightest like this. So why is classification important? Classification is the basis for all concept formation. It makes us easier to identify the similarities and differences of objects or things. Let's evaluate your understanding. Get a piece of paper and ball pen and answer the given questions. Check your own paper. Just be honest. Number one. What type of classification is shown below? A single stage, B multi-stage, or C serial ordering? What's your answer? The answer is A single stage. Why single stage? Because we have only one property here. We have in terms of color. So we group the fruits according to their color. We have the yellow group and we have the green group. Number two, what type of classification is shown below? A single stage, B multi-stage, or C serial ordering? What's your answer? The answer is B, multi-stage. Why multi-stage? Because there are already subsets here. Okay, and the organisms or the shapes are classified into groups like in terms of color and in terms of shape. Okay, for instance, in terms of color, that's one property. And then, from the color, they are again grouped into two. We have the crooked circle and the smooth circle. Same true with the blue color. Okay, aside from blue, they are also sorted in terms of shape, like square and triangle. Hence, this number two is multi-stage. Number three. Which of the following statements is true about classification? 1. It disorganizes the objects into groups. 2. It makes it easier to see the differences. 3. It makes it easier to see the similarities. 4. It is confusing. And here are the choices. A. 1 and 3. B. 2 and 3. C. 1 and 4. Or D. 2 and 4. What's your answer? The answer is... B, 2, and 3. Number 4. Which science process skill involves sorting organisms or objects into groups? A, observing, B, inference, C, classification, or D, classifying? What's your answer? Okay, the answer is classifying. Number 5. Peter measures the plant height of his mung beans using a ruler. He records his observation. Finally, he sorts his mung beans in increasing plant height. What classification stage did he use? A single stage, B multi-stage, C serial ordering, or D binary classification? What's your answer? The answer is C serial ordering. Number Okay, so what's your score? If you get 5, excellent. 4, very good. 3, good. 0 to 2, try again. Watch again the video and try answering. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. For more information, you may visit these references. Have a great day.